Hi there and welcome to another introductory Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at layers and selection. Uh, the file that we're going to use is called Mr. Melon. You can go to file and open that. If you haven't already, you can download Mr. Melon from my website. Now, what we're going to be looking at today uh, is the layers palette. It's found in the bottom right corner of your screen. Right now, once you open up the file, it should say layer zero. It'll have a picture of the layer and then a little eyeball that allows you to turn the layer off and turn the layer on. Uh, over on the left hand side of the screen now, you have the toolbar. <clears throat> at the top you've got the move tool and below that there are three sections of tools that we're going to be looking at today. These are the different areas of selection or, or some of the different areas of selection. Um, it starts with the rectangular marquee tool and you'll notice that it has a little black uh, triangle in the bottom right corner. That means if you hold down on the tool you'll get some different options. So below that we have the lasso set and the magic wand set. Okay. Now, what is a selection? Uh, selections are used in Photoshop to define boundaries for you to work within. So for example, I'm just gonna go over to my screen and use the rectangular marquee selection to select some of the white space. Basically, I can now affect the things that are in the white space. I could move that space and sort of cut it out of my original screen if I wanted to, um, or I could paint in that space. And you'll notice that if I paint in the space, I can't paint outside of the space. Okay. Later on, let's say I've done a little manipulation inside of that space, um, I could adjust the space. And when I make an adjustment, for example, I'm changing the hue and saturation, I change only that space. All right. It doesn't affect the entire screen. So. Um, we're going to be looking at uh, selecting some of the shapes on the left hand side, um, trying to be as precise as we can, uh, cutting them out and pasting them over onto the melon head on the side. Now, I've got this ugly little piece here. Uh, one of the most useful tools you're going to learn is the undo tool. Like most computer programs, it's Control Z or um, Apple Z. Um, you can also go over here to the history bar, and this shows you. A list of all the things that you've done. So I can step out of hue and saturation into the brush where I did some painting and I can go right into the mar rectangular marquee and I can go all the way back to where I started so I have a nice fresh clean sheet. Now um, that's very useful for stepping back in case you ever make some mistakes. Start over on the left hand side and I'd like you to go to the magic wand selection tool. The one actually that we want to go to is quick select. Now, Quick Select uh, does its best to select the things that you want to select. It looks at color and it looks at contrast. Try the carrot. One click on the carrot should probably do a pretty good job. Good enough for us today. Uh, one click on the carrot will make a selection. And now you've got those little dotted lines, the marching ants that are going around. Now, if I simply uh, moved the carrot at this point, I'd be ripping it out of its background. I don't want to do that. What I'd like to do is copy and paste uh, this carrot and use it for parts of my eyeballs. So I'm going to go to Edit Copy. Control C is a keyboard shortcut. And then I'll go to Edit Paste. Control V is the shortcut. And then I'll go to Move. So it's Select, Copy, Paste, Move. Here's my Move tool. Uh, I can just grab it and move it wherever I want it to go. Now you'll look in the Layers palette. You'll see here now we have Layer 1. Layer 1 is that carrot. If I turn the eyeball off, that's all that's on Layer 1. If I double click on layer one, I can call this one carrot right. This is going to be his right eyeball. And um, I can just hit control V again. That'll make another paste, right? Another copy of it. I'll move it where I want it to go. And now I've got another layer one. And I'll call this one carrot left. <clears throat> okay. Next thing we'll try, same tool, okay, quick select tool, and uh, go to the blueberry. Now, make sure that you're on layer zero, because layer zero is the layer that the blueberry pixels are on. So we'll try that again. Again, it works quite nicely. You'll see it doesn't always work quite as perfectly as uh, with this blueberry. We'll do a control C and a control V, and I'll move my blueberry to where I want it to go. I want to make it uh, the pupil of my eye. Oh, here we got a problem. All right, we are underneath the carrot. Right, now take a look at the layers palette and you'll see that layer one was pasted right above layer zero. The problem is uh, the layers palette works like a stack. All right? uh, the things that are on top of the stack are the things that are in front. So these have to go above the carrots. All right? So I'm going to move that new layer one. I'll call it blueberry. I'll call it blueberry right. OK. 
Okay, and uh, I'm going to make a well, well, may as well put it where I want it to go. There you go. Now it's in the right spot. And then I'll duplicate it. Um, I could duplicate it with Control V. Another way is to just grab the layer, drag it down. Right beside the garbage can is the new layer icon. That one is now called Blueberry Right Copy. I want it to be called Blueberry Left. And here we go. It's right on top of the original. Perfect. We have two eyes. Okay, that's enough of the... Quick select tool. <clears throat> we'll go up to the rectangular marquee. This is a great tool for uh, grabbing large chunks whenever you want. Okay, and you can sort of move them around. Um, but what we're going to use this for is because there aren't too many things that are rectangular that we want to select, we're going to use it to define an area that I can then work within to make a more detailed selection. So here I have a rectangle gone, uh, drawn around the radishes, and I'm going to use my magic wand tool and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to deselect all of the white area around the radishes to leave only the radishes selected. Now if you take a look in the left hand corner we have a few different options. Uh, we have either I can make a new selection when I use this tool, I can add to the existing selection, I can subtract from my existing selection, or I can intersect with the existing selection. Uh, we're going to use subtract from selection and I'm going to click on the white space. Oh, okay. You'll see this quite often. You'll get a warning that says no pixels were selected. The reason is, well, look over in your layers palette. I'm not on the right layer. I'm in the blueberry layer, and right now there are no pixels um, for me to select on the blueberry layer, uh, except for that blueberry right there. So go down to layer zero. Let's try it again. Okay, make a rectangular selection. Whoops. My mistake there. Uh, make a rectangular selection around the radishes, okay, and use the magic wand tool to click on the white space. You should get a nice clean selection just to the radishes. Let's control C, control V to make a, a bushy eyebrow. Looks good. And uh, let's just paste that again. Okay, and we'll have to move this eyebrow over. Now it's going the wrong way. Okay, uh, in Photoshop you can do some lots of different manipulations. Go to edit, transform, and here we have a few options. Now you can just go to free transform, which allows you to sort of do it all. But if you look under the transform, these are sort of the things you can do. Scale, rotate, skew, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Rotate at a certain number of degrees. In our case, we want to flip horizontal. That looks pretty good. All right, so now we have a couple of eyebrows. I'm not going to do too much more with these eyebrows. So look over in my layers palette. I've got layer one and layer two. They're right beside each other. And these are my eyebrows. Yeah, I'm getting to have too many layers at this point, and so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge these two layers so that they are now locked together, okay, so that they share a layer. Both eyebrows are going to be on the same layer. The way I'm going to do that is just going to select the layer on top, so right now that's layer two. I'll name it in a minute, and I'm going to go to the layer menu, and I'm going to use Merge Down, which is Control e okay? Now you can see both of my layers have been squished onto one. Okay, and that layer one, I'm now going to, whoops, rename just by clicking on the word, eyebrows. Okay, um, two more things before we uh, end part one here. Um, I'm going to make a couple of ears, and I'm going to make them out of this grapefruit. Uh, an easy way to grab the grapefruit is to use the magnetic lasso. So go to your lasso tools and choose magnetic lasso. Make sure you're on layer zero and very carefully go around. Now I'm going to go a little bit sloppy here. You can see what it does is it tries its best to find the edge. Even if you're not so close, it thinks it knows where you want to go and it, it sort of pulls itself to the edge. <clears throat> now I'm going to redo that one because that was a little bit too sloppy. <clears throat> now if you set a little point, which is just a mouse click, every so often. What that does is it sets an anchor point and it keeps the line from straying. There we go. And you'll also notice that when I get back to where I started, I have a little circle beside the uh, cursor. And that means that if I click here, it will end my selection and I'll actually um, have a selection. Okay, so my, 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 my fence is ready to go. There I've made a selection. Perfect. I'm going to copy and paste that. Copy, paste and move. Okay, now in this case, I'm going to do a rotation, so I'll do Edit, Rotate. 
edit, transform, rotate. And here I'll just go 90 degrees, go counterclockwise. This is going to be an ear. I'm also going to scale this down. It's a little too big. So I'll go edit, transform, scale. Now when I scale, if I just grab a corner, I can scale it in all sorts of different directions. But if I hold down shift while I do it, I can maintain the aspect ratio. So I'm going to make an ear about, ooh, that's good, I think. Move it to where I want it to go and hit enter. Okay, now, here's one little problem. My ears are in front of my head. Now, normally, I would just put the ear, which is currently layer one. Well, I'm typing ear there. Uh, normally, I would just bring this below layer zero, and everything would be fine. Unfortunately, layer zero has this white background, and I can't see my ear anymore. So my solution to that is I need to cut the head out. I need a, another head. Um, so before I go any further with the ears, let's make a new head. Go to layer zero. And uh, we're going to use the old magic wand method again. I'm just going to make a nice big selection right there. Go to my magic wand. It should already be uh, set to minus. If not, the alt key is uh, will make sure it's minus and the shift key will add to a selection. So we want to subtract, so that's alt, subtract all the white space. There we go, we have a nice selection just around the head. And of course, that grapefruit there doesn't make any difference because um, it's not on that layer and I'm only working on one layer at a time. I'm going to copy and paste that. And now you'll see I have a brand new layer one, which I'm going to name head. Perfect. Okay, now my ear is above head. I can move my head above ear. And now you can see my ear tucks in really nicely. So last thing I'm going to do here today for part one is duplicate my ear, drag it into the new layer icon, go to my move tool, move it over, flip it over, edit, transform, uh, flip horizontal, and move it to where it's supposed to go. We'll name that ear copy, and we'll call it ear left. Okay, that is it for part one. Check out part two. We'll finish up the mouth, the bow tie, and the hat, and all sorts of other exciting things. Uh, check out other tutorials on my website in the future. Hope you like them. Bye-bye.